Good morning. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's Daily Halacha Review for Wednesday, June 15th. We've been talking about uh, wrapping uh, the Sefer Torah, wrap it, tying up and wrapping and covering the Sefer Torah, the, uh, the uh, mitzvah of Galila. And we spoke yesterday about uh, how some say that the, uh, the uh, uh, tie, the uh, wrapper, should go around the upper third of the Sefer Torah. Some said not necessary, some said even the below, below the, at, at the bottom third of it. Uh, in any case, there is a conversation amongst the poskim that one should not tie a knot on top of a bow, in other words, a permanent uh, knot, what we call a double knot, uh, on t- on the, uh, when the uh, knot is intended to last for more than 24 hours. There is a malacha of Shabbos. We learned a couple summers ago, we learned uh, the uh, 39 malachas of Shabbos. One of them is kosher, to, not kosher, but kosher with a kuf, to make a knot, to uh, tie a knot in something. So let's say you tie a necktie, for example. So that necktie you put, tie to put on uh, for, uh, for to go to shul, you maybe you'll tuck it into your jacket so you don't get uh, schmal tearing uh, dripping on it. You have to take it to the cleaners. Uh, but you're go- when you go home, you're going and uh, sit down to uh, lunch. Before the shul, you're going to probably take up. Probably, not necessarily. There are some people who leave it on. You might be inclined, certainly by the end of Shabbos, to take off your tie, remove your tie. So the kesher, the knot that you've made on your tie in the morning, is not not a kesher shel kayama, a knot that's meant to uh, to uh, last for uh, lasting means more than twenty four hours in this case. Okay, so uh, there is a view, the Ramaz view, which uh, we hold by, that uh, a kesher shel kayama, a knot which is meant to endure, is one that's going to last seven days. So that's a little bit different situation than ours. There's no concern at all writes the uh, author of our Sefer for uh, Shachris on Shabbos because when you tie a knot on the bindle around the Sefer Torah it's going to be opened again at Mincha assuming that you have a minion for Mincha which we don't yet have on, uh, in our show on Shabbos but please God, in good time uh, so, uh, the knot, however, which is tied at Mincha, when you tie it um, on, uh, at Mincha time, Shabbos afternoon, is going to remain until Monday, which is still less than 48 hours, but uh, not so bad. So the custom, nevertheless, seems to be lenient in this regard as long as it's open within seven days. Mar Shag, Halicha Shlema, uh, Minig Yisrael Torah, a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, Svarim that are quoted here, a bunch of uh, uh, latter day uh, poskim are quoted here. Uh, now, best advice, best practice, gives the author of our Sefer, of Moshe David Lebowitz, says, best to use a gartel with clasps or Velcro. Velcro, ha ha, great boon of living in the modern age. And then you don't have to worry about this issue. How the Jews kept the Torah without Velcro is a, a, source, of, uh, a source of wonderment uh, to all of us. So thank God we live in such an age where we have Velcro. We don't have to worry about, uh, about uh, the knots on Shabbos. Okay, join us again tomorrow. We'll continue this and other fascinating conversations to do with Galila. Until then, have a good day.